To calculate the formal charge for each of the iodines in the I3 minus Lewis structure, let's first look at the Lewis structure we have for I3 minus. So I've used 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 valence electrons, but the I3 minus Lewis structure has 22. So I need to add an additional two valence electrons. And I really don't know where to put them in this structure. And that's what formal charge is going to help us figure out which iodine should we put those extra two valence electrons on. So let me put them on right here and then we'll figure that out. So I put them on that central iodine. Seems like a good place. Might as well be symmetrical, right? So let's find the formal charge for this iodine and then we'll do the next one here. So iodine here, iodine has seven valence electrons. It's in group 17, sometimes called 7A. So it has seven valence electrons. Unbonded, we have two, four, six. And then bonded, we have these two right here. And we're gonna divide that by two. So for this iodine right here, the formal charge, seven minus six, that's gonna be one. And then one minus one gives us zero. So we have a formal charge of zero right here. For the iodine in the center, we have seven valence electrons, and then unbonded, we have two, four, six of those, and we're gonna subtract the bonded, which is two, four. So we have seven minus six is one, one minus two, that equals a minus one charge. So we'll put minus one right here. And then this iodine and this iodine, they're the same, so we don't need to redo this. We'll just put a zero right here. And those are the formal charges for I3 minus. We see that we do have a negative one charge on the central iodine, but that makes a lot of sense because it is an ion. It has a negative charge here. So we have this negative charge here. That's where this comes from. If we had put those valence electrons on the other iodine, we might have problems. Let's see what that might look like. Iodine's in group 17, 7A. It has seven valence electrons, unbonded, two, four, six, eight. We have eight minus bonded, these two right here two over two. So seven minus eight, that's going to be minus one. And then minus one, we get a minus two charge on this iodine right here. So I can already see these formal charges aren't as good as the ones where we had zero. And that tells me that those extra electrons should all go on the central iodine atom. This is Dr. B with the formal charges for I3 minus, and thanks for watching.